Hello everyone. Today we are going to deal with how to set dates to Indian financial year that is starting from April to March in Tableau. Now for this, I would be using my uh, sample superstore and I would be working with orders table. So let's shift to Tableau and do a quick hands on of this. So as I was saying, I am connected to sample superstore with my orders table. In this, we have a field that is giving us all the dates in which we have done business. That is order date. So now let's take order date and I'll do a quick change in this. That is, I'm going to make it to uh, the month with a discrete access. And now you can see that my calendar or my dates run from January 2011 all the way to December 2014. This, uh, I want to divide these dates into a financial year. So if I go to my order date and from my default property, pick up fiscal year start and change it to April, still you will see that nothing has changed. I'm just going to take that here and do a quick formatting for that so that you can see it. So there is no difference in my both the days even after I have changed it to first, uh, financial year uh, starting from April. So how can I fix this? Now I have just removed my earlier one from uh, the visualization and now we will go to make sure the calculated field and I'm going to create a quick calculation and I'm going to call it revised financial year and we'll get give it a calculation of data function I want it in year minus one from the field order date in another video I have already dealt with the date functions so if you've not gone through it you can uh, you can uh, quickly visit that to see how you um, uh, you know, do the calculations over the date functions or basically how do you use date add functions in Tableau. So, but for this one, I have just given it a quick calculation of date add uh, function, which will give me the result in year, subtracting my, uh, it with one from the field order date. We click on apply and I have a, rev a revised financial year over here. I'm going to quickly go to this revised financial year and from um, my default property, I'm again going to the financial year, fiscal year start, and we'll make sure this one is also at starting from April. Now, let's bring the financial year before my order date. And now you can see that because my January, February and March for 2011 uh, belong to the financial year 2010, that's how now the WSQL is dividing my dates into. So the moment my dates start from April 2011, I start getting financial year of 2011. And each year starts from April, or, or rather each financial year starts from April 2011 and ends at March 2012. Now I can plot my sales over here to see the sales that is coming from each of the financial year. You can also, from the analysis, add a subtotal to see the total that is happening for each of the financial year. That's all for this video. I hope you got the concept of how to add financial years into the visualization.
please remember to subscribe the video thank you